All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, T. I'm Tasha. And welcome to the adventures of TNT. Now, we are back doing some more Tom McDonald, in which the song he just released is Balloons. Balloons. So if you guys are new to the channel, we are actually on a Tom McDonald journey. Mm -hmm. uh, we started... Catch uh, up, people. Yes. Catch up. Uh, uh, snowflakes. Snowflakes. Yeah, okay. that was the first Tom McDonald song that we, okay. we listened to. And so that was our introduction into his music. And we decided to go ahead and go on this journey and go all the way back with Dear Rappers and move our mm -hmm. way up. So you guys can check that out in the playlist. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's go ahead and jump into this song. Or not. There we go. Yeah. I miss the days when no one even knew my name. Now everywhere I go, I wear a hat to hide my face I got weapons hidden inside every room in my place Now I have to keep a pistol on me always just in case This is a nightmare, never expected the fame To be something I would wrestle with and fight to embrace Sometimes I feel like the love I get's outweighed by the hate I hid the tears, but I can't hide from the pain Wow. I'm working 20 hour days, can't even lie to y'all, I'm burnt out Asleep on my weight bench, trying to find the strength to work out Should be happy I'm successful, I just went and bought my first house Thought money would help cure my depression, but it's worse, how? I'm tired of it, lucky I don't have a manager cause I'll be firing them Tired of talking to other artists who just wanna tell me I'm inspiring them Parents keep telling me they have a kid and they're thankful the child is admiring me Great, wanna know how I feel? I might kill myself before retiring You know, it's so crazy because we were having this conversation. You know what? Hold on. You know what's crazy? What? Every time we pause it and we start these conversations, uh -huh. it always reverts back to a, a conversation, conversation that we, we had. had. Yeah, um, because we were talking about... Enjoying the journey. There you go. We were talking about enjoying the journey because you get so wrapped up. This is me. This is me all day long. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. It's like you get so f focused and hung up on creating content, on satisfying, pleasing people, putting together shows, you know, uh, doing other stuff. Then you have your job. Then you have, you know, other stuff going on. Other responsibilities. Other responsibilities. And you're trying to just package everything all together. Mm -hmm. And there, But you have no balance, babe. Yeah. And I try to be that balance for you and, and help you uh -huh. and, and remind you as well as everyone out there, you know, to enjoy the journey. No, it's not going to be perfect. It's never going to be perfect. And if you keep on that that track of not appreciation, appreciating, you know, the milestones that you have yeah. made, it's like, because I did ask you, I was like, Babe, you should be happy. You know, you, you've accomplished so many goals and um, benchmark this and benchmark that. And then it's like, I got to move on right. to the next thing. Yeah, because sometimes it just feels like it's never enough. You but, know? but it is. And it, yeah, sometimes it feels like it's never enough. And then that's, that's the conflict that you have that you have you feel like you have to keep going keep producing keep doing more which adds more to your stress more yeah. to your anxiety than ultimately may lead to depression mm -hmm. and you know even with this what he's talking about sometimes it's just how you're going to handle and how you're going to deal with all that mm -hmm. so yeah but babe it only gets worse like the the more things you accomplish yeah. it don't get better so you got to learn how to enjoy yeah. it now yeah. absolutely you know yeah all right let's keep going y'all I'm in the clouds, I can't reach the ground They're coming in crowds, blew me up like a balloon and let me go Watch me float away while I scream no Every time I get close, they pull out their phones Like maybe this time we can see them explode Blew me up like a balloon and let me go They are throwing rocks cause they trying to poke holes They wanna see me pop, they don't wanna see me blow Like a balloon and left me I miss the times when I could go outside I didn't have to watch my back Out of the corner of my eye I didn't have to fake a smile And post for pictures all the time Can't even lie, I miss when time was really mine now I just belong to everybody else but me mm. These panic attacks are making it awful hard to breathe Built a vocal booth inside the crib and stopped making beats Don't even rap, I stand inside of it and scream Like this is not what I expected, I work my hands to the bone And my anxiety is triggered by the apps on my phone I tried deleting them so the internet would leave me alone But 
but the lag. Like, <laughs> what? No, it's funny. What's yeah. funny? Nah. Yeah, like he built a vocal booth in his <laughs> Yeah, because you did too. Yeah. Is that why you laughing? Yeah. Because that's what you did? Yeah. Yeah, so. it, it seems oddly familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> All of it. Mm-hmm. But anyway. I'm staring at the vocal booth right now. <laughs> like, he built it from scratch. And it's like an eyesore, and he wants to do the basement. <laughs> Looking at this, 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 this booth is like, and you want to do the basement. Jeez, <laughs> let's continue. It just made me feel worse than before. I'm sick of it all. The internet watching me trip when I fall. Embarrassed that everyone witnesses all. My illness is in real time. Man, I'm addicted to y'all. Rappers on Twitter don't get me involved. I'm posing for photos with fans in the mall and dying inside, pretending I'm strong. I'm not a celebrity. I am just tall. When every Friday wasn't spent with my therapist Then I realized I hated fame and accepted I'm scared of it I got Ativan, Ciprolex, Xanax, and Seroquel In a Tupperware container I don't touch, I just stare at them Breathing exercise is supposed to help me to cope But nothing works quite as good as a bottle of Jack and a smoke I try to focus on my breath, but it gets stuck in my throat This never happened back when I was young and happy and broke I never thought I'd be the rapper all these rappers trying to be Posting 20 times a day, now I don't have no privacy Meeting with these major labels, CEOs with giant teams If y'all want to do business, why are y'all trying to lie to me? I'm bored of the fame, every time it feels fresh again, I'm getting more of the same Interviewers think they know who I am, they made up their mind before I explain Well, because you asked so nice, I guess I'll tell Ain't been feeling too hot lately, Jim, is there anything else? Great, cause lately, every day, I feel like I'm living in hell I'm glad the music helps you, but I might really kill myself when this magazine gets printed can you send one to my house i'd like to own a tiny piece of me like everybody else Damn. go watch me float away well i scream no every time i get close they pull out their phones like maybe this time we can see them explode Blew me up like a balloon and let me go they are throwing rocks because they trying to poke holes they want to see me pop they don't want to see me blow They're the reason that i'm gone they don't want to see me go So this was uh, incredibly Let deep. Let it finish playing. Okay. Let's just. Uh... Okay. Yeah, I think that was it, babe. I ain't want to miss nothing. Yeah. Cause this, like, I got chills um, during a lot of it, and I can really see um, his pain because like there's a dark side of fame yeah. like you can you know that he loves his fans and but there is another side to where there's there's people that know who you are right and want a piece of you and don't realize that you're a person yeah you know and people not realizing that you're a person doing things to provoke you right. um, because that comes with fame like right. people want to sue you left and right. right you can't even go out and sh go shopping or yeah. doing simple things people you, people do things in order to provoke a reaction to you. Right. right right and so him talking about all that and you uh, people think because people are successful or rich that they don't have the same feelings that normal people do, um, but sometimes, like he, j like he just said, he's still Tom. Yeah. You know, he's mm -hmm. still a person with feelings, and people unfortunately don't respect that. He, you, mm -hmm. he's like out in public, people are taking pictures instead of asking, like, hey, you know, can I take a picture with you? 
or realizing that he might need time to himself, but right. he doesn't have it anymore. Right. And especially in the, this day and age, in the society that we live in right now, mm-hmm. because the internet and social media and going viral has created celebrities overnight. And so before, it was kind of like a gradual process, or there was, uh, um, it was kind of in a way where you had limited access to your favorite celebrities. Mm-hmm. But now, somebody can go viral overnight, be famous the next day, and because they have social media, Twitter, or whatever, people have access to them. Mm-hmm. And, and, and so you're not prepared for that. You're not prepared to be a celebrity. You're not prepared for the fame. You're not prepared for the attention. And, mm-hmm. I, and I think that what happens is it takes a toll on your mental health. And a lot of people don't think about that. Well, a lot of people um, who are artists, they just want to be artists. Yeah. You know, you, you, I don't think you a just lot of people create. are prepared for the right. fame. There's some people like Paris Hilton or... Uh, Kim Kardashian. Who, they like it. Who live forward. Right. Um, but even they have suffered the consequences right. of fame as well. Because then it turns into too much. People stalking right. you. And um, there there unfortunately aren't any laws to protect um, people as well. Well, r- well there, there are certain laws, but laws aren't going to stop people from trying to gain access to you. I think if the laws were stricter... Um, Probably so. it well, would, it wouldn't no, be as bad. not necessarily because you um, can have strict laws. But the thing of it is, is that when, when a stalker or somebody who's crazy wants access to you mm-hmm. or they want to do something, mm-hmm. they're gonna stop at nothing to try yeah. and do it. And this this situation reminded me of the uh, the tennis player Naomi Osaka. Mm-hmm. I think that's her name. Mm-hmm. Uh, and which is just like what you were saying. You know, she's a uh, she's not an artist, but she's a tennis player. She's and an athlete. She's an athlete, and all she wants to do is play sports. She doesn't want to be associated with the fame. I don't think she really cares for it or the attention. And I think that a lot of overnight celebrities, they get caught in that little kind of conundrum. Um, It's not just overnight celebrities, babe. Well, it's, it's people dealing with fame in general. Has, yeah. It's not... I don't think yeah, it has... Uh, I, okay. Uh, because Tom is not an overnight celebrity, right. and um, I think fame is just a... A monster on his own that nobody is prepared for. Right. Mm. You know? Right. So you don't know until you have to deal with it. Right. Yeah. You know, people trying to come to your house, people yeah, look, calling trying to you. look you up. Yeah. 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 Very so, interesting. Yeah. But let right. us know what you thought about this video um, and how you deal with certain things. Um, Tom, he always sparks conversations. And especially for us, right. we have these conversations all the time. Yeah. But enjoy the process. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Absolutely. We'll see you guys later. Peace.